Diabetes is a disease in which the body's ability to produce or respond to the hormone insulin is impaired, resulting in abnormal metabolism of carbohydrates and elevated levels of glucose in the blood. Uh, there is type 1 diabetes, type 2 diabetes, the diabetes which occurs in pregnancy, known as gestational diabetes, and then there are the other types of diabetes. What are the risk factors of diabetes? Uh, at the same time, when you look at the complication aspect of it, diabetes can cause complications all the way from the eyes, causing something known as retinopathy, to cataracts, to glaucoma, increased pressures in the eye. It can cause complications in the heart, it can cause complications in the kidney, it can cause complications with the nerves. So basically what that means then, it, looking at the different organs of the body that can be complicated, for a diabetic, the need to have a constant group to keep in touch with and walk through the rough trails of insulin injections and complications is not only necessary but compulsory. The start of community diabetes care centers brought to life a possibility of unity, support and interactions among diabetics who would otherwise be struggling with depression in addition to their diagnosis. First diagnosis of diabetes or of any other chronic disease is not easy. Yeah? Imagine if you are being told today that you are having a condition which you are going to live with for the rest of your life. It's not easy on anybody, okay, because this is a person who has been very happy, healthy, thinking, assuming they are healthy, normal, they've been moving around, doing the day-to-day -day activities, then suddenly now they are uh, informed that, okay, now, you know, you've got diabetes and it's a lifestyle condition. These are the changes you have to make in your diet, in your exercise. This is what you're supposed to do. These are the medications you're going to take on a daily basis. It is never easy for any individual who's diagnosed to have diabetes in the first instance. Men, women and even children can now talk freely about their conditions and feelings without fear of being misunderstood. Such centers have also made it possible for diabetics to easily access wholesome medical attention whenever needed. And Dr. Saira Sokwala. Dr. Sokwala tells us exactly what a DCC is. So a DCC, uh, which stands for a Diabetes Care Center, is a clinic or a setup whereby you have a multidisciplinary approach to treatment of diabetes. But if you're just looking at the center, then the people who are core members of a Diabetes Care Center include, number one, the diabetologist or endocrinologist, uh, secondly, you need a nutritionist. Thirdly, a diabetes educator. These are the very basic minimum that you should have when you're looking at a diabetes care center. Dr. Sokwala takes us through the stages a patient goes through in a DCC. We have nurse educators, so when they're doing the trials, they're already imparting education. So right from the word go, they are already being primed on their diagnosis and what it entails and what they can probably do to accept their diagnosis. From there they come to, to the diabetologist. Okay. Diabetes education is important to a patient because they are able to understand diabetics and its risk factors. Seeing as we are in the month of Ramadan for Muslims, how can Muslim patients fast safely? Right now we are in the month of fasting yeah, uh, for Muslims. That kind of education, okay, what are you supposed to do when you are going to fast? How are you going to check your sugars, for example? How will you know when to stop the fast? What type of sugar, what level of readings should you do to know how to control your sugar, uh, to adjust your medications or to you know, eat any particular type of food. So what we do is, after they've gone through the diabetes education, now you have an empowered patient. According to Dr. Fabian Collis, a podiatrist at the MP Shah Diabetes Care Center, a leg is lost every four seconds around the world due to diabetes complications. And you can't drive a car yeah. with uh, no tires. It doesn't matter how good the engine is. It's the same with the feet. So if patients lose their feet, then not only um, is their quality of life affected, but then also it affects the entire family as well. Okay. And 85% of diabetic foot issues are preventable if they're managed properly. There is no known preventive measure for type 1 diabetes. However, type 2 diabetes, which accounts for 85 to 90 percent of all cases, can often be prevented or delayed by maintaining a normal body weight, engaging in physical activity, and consuming a healthy diet. 
Higher levels of physical activity reduce the risk of diabetes by 28%. Dietary changes can include maintaining a diet rich in whole grains and fiber and choosing good fats such as those found in nuts, vegetable oils and fish. Eating less red meat and other sources of saturated fats can also help prevent diabetes and so can limiting sugary beverages. Bonareri Samaha, Ebru TV.